Hi guys, Oliver here with the Cot Auto Group. So we've been having quite a few questions about electric vehicles here. Uh, so we've gathered a few of your questions together and we are gonna try and answer them for you now. Okay then, question number one. Let's get going here. All right, what's the benefit of switching to an EV over a regular gas vehicle? Well, there's a few different uh, good reasons to go EV. Um, electricity is much cheaper than gas. If an uh, oil tanker uh, crashes off the coast of uh, Hawaii, uh, your electricity is not going to go up. You can uh, drive in the HOV lane. That's a big one. All right. And even more importantly, a lot less maintenance with the uh, EV. And uh, they should even be more reliable. Just so you know, HOV stands for High Occupancy Vehicle. Now you know. Okay, question number two. How long does it take to charge an EV vehicle? Well, it's gonna depend on a few different factors, this one. How big is your battery? And uh, what charging type you're using? So if you're using a fast charge, you can get up to 80% in about 40 minutes. If you're using the slowest uh, form of charging, which would be your house charger, it could take up to two days or more. So anywhere between 40 minutes and uh, about 60 hours. Okay, question number three. Do electric vehicles break down more? No, no they don't. Uh, in fact, they should break down less, a lot less uh, moving uh, parts in your EV, so it should be more reliable. Okay, question number four. What is the range of an electric vehicle? Again, it's gonna depend on a couple of factors. What EV vehicle you buy um, and how you drive it. So it's gonna range from anything from 120 for a, one of the older EVs um, all the way up to about 500 kilometers. Okay, question number five. Are electric vehicles expensive to run? Nope, not at all. Okay, next question. Can you drive and charge an electric vehicle in the rain? Well, I'm not sure about the wording of this question. Um, you can certainly charge an electric vehicle in the rain. You can also drive an electric vehicle in the rain. Can you drive and charge an electric vehicle in the rain? You need a long cord, I guess. Okay, next question. Why does England always lose big soccer tournaments? Who wrote these questions? Next question. Perry, is this you? Alrighty. When is the best time to charge the vehicle? Well, there are some places uh, where electricity is cheaper at different times of the day. That is not the case here in BC, so you're good to go any time of day. Okay, and next question. How much does an EV raise my electricity bill? Well, that's a pretty good question. Let's just bring that answer up here on the screen, okay. If electricity costs six and a half cents per kilowatt hour and the vehicle consumes 33 kilowatt hours to travel 160 kilometers, the cost per kilometer is about 1.3 cents. If electricity costs six and a half cents per kilowatt hour, charging an EV with a range of 320 kilometers, assuming a fully depleted 66 kilowatt battery, will cost around $4.29 to reach a full charge. So, not a lot. How do I install an EV charger in my home? Okay, well, I've uh, made this one simple for you guys. I've brought up a quick diagram for you to follow. Um, or I guess you could phone your local electrician. Is it safe to buy a used EV? Yes, yes it is. All right, I think this is the last one. If I get into an accident with an EV, will there be a nuclear explosion? No, no, there won't be. Um, we're obviously talking about EV vehicles, not hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. And again, hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, also there won't be a nuclear explosion, unless I guess you were carrying uh, plutonium or something, uh, there could be, so. All right, I think we are done. Thank you everybody for all your excellent questions.